it's time at Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video. It is Food Finds Friday. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and join our community here, it is right down there. It's that red box that says subscribe. You want to be notified, notified when I do fun videos like this. There is a notification bell right next to the subscribe. It'll let you not notify you when I upload. We are here at Sam's Club today to find some fun food finds. Low in points, low in calories, but yet tasty. I'm not purchasing all of these. I'm just going to show you them. Because maybe if you're like me, you go to Sam's Club with your family and they kind of don't let you look around. So I am your guide. This way you could look at stuff and see what you want to purchase next time you go. I won't, I will probably won't give you the points of everything because I'm not scanning everything. I'm just going to show you what are good options. And sometimes the points and calories do reflect that and sometimes they don't. So I'm going to show you some fun food options because it's all about fun foods. Fun, good, delicious food. So let's go in. All right, let's go inside Sam's Club. Uh, the first thing is always the like, seasonal stuff and look at the cute pillows it's all about harvest and fall and i thought i'd just show you a few of the gift baskets i thought that was really cute i mean i know it has nothing to do with what we're talking about but it's always good to see some of the fun stuff look at the falling for coffee i mean you know there's some really cute things in there and of course the pumpkin spice coffee the godiva chocolates and they have cute little socks and oh because it's earmuff time and nice fuzzy blankies. I have one of those. I really do like it. <laughs> it's really nice and warm, but it's always fun to see the different things that, you know, you can get at, you know, these big box stores. And look at the dog feeder and camera. Dare I look at this? It's $99. I mean, how cute is that? And containers. I love these pots and pans. They're really, really nice. They're based on a well-known name brand of pots. I can't think of that off the top of my head. And there's some fun, like I said, there's just some interesting gift ideas that they come in the front of the store. So I thought we would just show some of that before we get into the nitty gritty. And look at that, a little mini fire pit. And of course, you need starters when we have a fire pit. So look at the pumpkins, pumpkins and green and watermelons. Yeah, we're still in watermelon season. So, well, of course, you have to look at the clothes. Look at the shackets. <gasps> I really like the brown one on the end. I did. Um, I like this one on the end as well. The red one I wasn't thrilled. It looked too, I don't know, too lumberjack, I guess. But you might see that in the end. And then the produce. Sam's has abundance of produce. And that is one of the things we should be throwing in our cart. Yes, we should. And I mean, you can't beat the prices. And look at the amounts of lemons and limes. And, oh, and now they just added, look at the beautiful tomatoes. I love getting those when, to make tomato salads with. I love interesting tomatoes. But they put all their um, other produce in this refrigerator, like freezer type thing. We will go into. I love those. Those are my favorite. You'll yellow, some green, and some red. What a pretty little salad. But yes, we're going to go into the freezer. Oh, look at all the different, I mean, flav flavors, types of apples. I mean, you name it, honey crisps are my favorite. I will say these cosmic crisps aren't bad. I did avoid the mangoes, though. And there's some, look at all the pears. And some oranges. Like I said, if, if Sam's has a big selection of produce. Plums. Like I say, you, if you, if, and look at the cantaloupes. They were actually a decent price. I'm just was at, not into cantaloupes anymore. And look at the wraps. Look at this probiotic wrap. I, I flip it over and I will show you um, the calories and the protein. There wasn't, like I said, you're going to see some different uh, calorie counts and wraps. Just notice. This one's 100 calories. Then we go to our favorite carb candela banderitas. Now they're pretty much the same size, a little bit smaller maybe, but look at that. Look at the calorie count difference. That's crazy. 49 calories versus the other one. Mm, you know, but it does have other things to offer. Oh, our favorite extreme wellness. I would have gotten some, but I have some in the freezer. So I'm good. But look at the calories in that. The points are great in these. And they're, they make a really good little wrap. They make great little, um, now here we go. Look at the mission wraps. The mission wraps, you can just, I think I flipped these over too. Just to compare the calories. 
I know. 220. What the heck? What? That's insane. Insane. But they even have a carb balance one. And that, again, there you go. 70 calories. So, you know, there is options out there. You just have to look. And you can just compare. And now we're going into the refrigerated produce. The guy was stocking, so they really, they had a few, I was looking for lettuce, that's why I went in here. And look at this smoothie. I thought this seemed really interesting. Smoothie variety pack. I don't know, it's interesting. If you're a smoothie person, me, not so much. And they have kombucha, which is fairly on the newer side. Sliced apples, mushrooms, coleslaw, bear. Oh my God, look at all the berries. If you're on, on so low carb, these are what you should be eating. Tons of berries. Berries are very low in carb. You can get raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and there's some grapes. And here's some cauliflower. And I was freezing, but I was out to get the lettuce, which I had to run over because the guy was it was in my way. But you can see a lot of things need to be stuck. They were out of the sliced mushrooms. They only had the baby bellas. And some veggie medley. One thing about that, you get way too many carrots in there. I just want broccoli and cauliflower. I don't need carrots in there. Celery stalks. There's Brussels sprouts. And here we are out of there into looking at the 100 calorie Thomas's English light English muffins. They're two points each, which they were three. I think they went down a point with personal points. I don't remember them being two. And look at these. These flatbreads for good for pizza. A quarter of a flat is only four points. I didn't think that was bad. If you're making a flatbread for your family, you have half of it for eight points, which is still doable. The swirl bread. They didn't have my other pita. They only had this pita. Let's go into the other section. This is all the salad kits. They didn't have the pickle one, and they've had it before. So and I wasn't in any of these. I was looking for the pickle one. They didn't have it. So I'm like, yeah, I don't need any other salad kits. I was looking for the pickle. I did get it from Trader Joe's, though. And the fresh fish. Yes, the fresh fish. They have a nice selection. And my only complaint is it's such a big piece of fish. Not that you couldn't break it down and freeze it. It's just, you know, it just looks daunting when you see this huge piece of fish. And it's a good price. And look at the pork chops. This is what we say about the, I mean, the ribs. When I talk about butcher box, look at the price on this. Butcher box for a rack of ribs like this is going to cost you 60 bucks. It's not going to cost you there. And their, their pork isn't any better than this. So the, that's why I say the price point for their pork is a little bit crazy. I'd rather just go spend less money, get more pork. And it, honestly, when you're putting something like ribs, it doesn't really matter. And the boneless, skinless chicken breast. Chicken has gone up in price. I, yeah, it has. So they had a nice selection, though. I mean, I think the chicken's pretty well stocked. Here's the organic. It's all on clearance. Apparently, people aren't buying the organic, I guess, because it's higher in price. And so that's all on reduced. But I'm like, yeah, no. You can see the price difference for the amount of chicken. I mean, it's good, but honestly, when you're on a budget, oh, my favorite part is the dips. Now, these dips are all doable. Honestly, you just have to, again, take your tablespoon or two tablespoons. But you definitely absolutely can fit any of these. Oh, my fresh salsa. I love that. It is cilantro salsa is the best. Mango salsa, the little nans, the little avocado cups, which are two points. There's hummus. There is chicken sausage. I love the chicken meatballs. These are all the prepared foods that you could buy. Again, a little bit more pricier, but again, sometimes convenience rules over price. Just all depends. Let's take a walk over this side. Again, great for charcuterie meats and cheeses. They've amped up their game on this kind of stuff. They used to have fat-free feta. They don't have it anymore, so yeah. Keep looking, Dee. Keep looking. For all the cheeses. Great, great selection if you're making a charcuterie. And look at the gyro kit. I thought that was cool. And look at that, that dessert in a jar. And those Cleo key lime bars are eight points. But it is granola. So, I mean, it's, you know, you're getting more. And here's more of the prepared sliced cheeses, some pickles, buffalo style chicken breast. Here's some. This is this oven roasted turkey is not a bad option. It's pretty good in points. It's really low in fat. And ham steaks. And yeah. Here we are in the Canadian bacon. And there's that turkey breast everybody gets. And there's Canadian bacon. 
Yep, uncured Canadian bacon. Always a good deal at Sam's Club. They have little hams you can get. Not a bad price. Little, uh, that's for Burger Blues. And look at the little, these are little um, hams as well. Pre-sliced. And little charcuteries. Look at that cute little charcuterie. I thought this was adorable. It's like mini charcuterie to go. You get four of them. I mean, how cute for a wine day out. You just take a couple of them. It's just adorable. Adorable pretzels and stuff like that i love these fast breaks they used to be really good in points they had no light baby bells i was a little bit ticked about that and string cheese all different kinds and they did have the colby jack and of course they had the light and there is the laughing cow and there's the regular cleo bars they are six points and those perfect bars are four points but they are the minis and right there we are in some of the frozen vegetables there's some frozen seafood. And that cauliflower chicken, it's three points for four pieces. I'm not sure I'm willing to pay that for chicken, but that's me. And the Beyond Burger, it's eight points. Now, you might think that that's worth it. Again, we all could decide what's worth it for us. You make the decision. All the different kinds of frozen burgers. And the chicken, all the chicken was breaded. They didn't have the naked chicken. It was all breaded. It was all kind of pointy. So I'm um, just a little cheap when it comes. That I could just make my own chicken in the air fryer. But again, convenience. And it's certainly not cheap. I mean, you can see the price of this chicken is ridiculous. But that's with everything. Everything is up in price everywhere. But these chickens options are really, really, they're tasty. I will say that. <laughs> the true fruit. True fruit is five pieces, three pieces for five points. Turkey sticks, two points a stick. They might have went into my cart. All the fun little prepared little Lunchables and the cheeses. And there's just a lot of big selection of things. I was just trying to get a little bit of everything just to show you what my Sam's Club carries. And now your Sam's Club might be different than my Sam's Club. And show, look at the yogurt. Oh, yeah. You know, I got a bottle. I mean, a container of, I do love the Members Mark yogurt. It is really, really tasty. They have that extra high protein yogurt right there as we pass it. A lot. They have a really good selection of yogurt. I will say they were fully stocked in that. And there is Jimmy Dean turkey sausage patties. Two patties for four points or two points a patty, depending on what you're looking at. Turkey bacon is always a good option. The Reese Puff Bars, five points, and the Cinnamon Toast are four points. Sometimes it's good for a treat. These, I got these for Steve. I think they were six points. I'd have to rescan them. I don't remember. That's what he wanted. And they have lots of nut mixes and all flavored of nuts. Now, sometimes the nuts don't get added for the flavor. You just have to scan and check. But look at the little packs of pistachios. I mean... Great selection of pistachios. I was like, more pistachios, more pistachios, more pistachios. They even have individual packs. Sometimes if you're like me and can't stop at pistachios, it's better to get the little packs. Little packs of nuts. And the nuts are a really good source of fat. And look at these. These trail mixes with the omegas. They even have mini ones, you will see. And they range from five, six, and seven points, depending on what's inside the pack. Now, you might think that's a lot, but... Again, you get what you pay for. You have weeklies for that. So sometimes going in them for, for those things is not a bad. Look at Siete has. They have individual bags. I almost bought them. They're four points a bag. And that's not bad for a, a lunch chip. I just had other ones I wanted to get. But yeah, that was a really good. I've never seen Siete individual bag, though. There's popcorn. I mean, all you know, whatever you're, what, what you snack on. And it's great to get individual bags of stuff. Because I feel like I'm not going to open a second bag. And the jerky. Look at all the jerky. I hear jerky is a really good snack. I was considering making my own. Because I don't like it when it's too tough. Slim Jims. Just have some. Oh, I love the snack. That's like my favorite aisle, of course. Is to go. Oh, there's the rice cakes. And we have. Oh, yeah. Off the eaten path. I almost bought that bag. But I think I saw one down the basement. But yeah, I love these. They're so good. And look what I found, which I didn't know even existed. Veggie puffs. Veggie puffs. You know that might have went into my cart. Just saying. There's a haul at the end of this video, so got to keep watching. And there's veggie straws, and there's the big bag of veggie straws, and then there's the apple straws. 
which are the cinnamon straws. Oh, they're right. Apples, apple cinnamon straws are really good. Chex Mix, Pringles Individual, <gasps> Pop Chips, you know. They redid their bags. I must not recognize it. And all different kinds of bags. Like if you need bags for your kids, or you know what, you just want to eat regular chips and it's individually bagged, you can do that. And this way you're not, you know, tempted to eat the whole bag because you only opened a bag. So you absolutely can do that. You can get Doritos, Ruffles, you know, any of these different ones, if that's what you fancy. You know, that's, you know, entirely your choice. It's your pickle, people. And look at the, I didn't know they make chocolate collagen peptides. Apparently they do. So there you go. And I'm into the premier protein section, which I was disappointed as usual. They did not have pumpkin or cinnamon roll. They were the two I was looking for. Plenty of chocolate, plenty of coffee, more chocolate. <laughs> There's some vanilla. There's more chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, I see a lot of chocolate. There's more vanilla. And then there's a chocolate peanut butter, which I do still have. More coffee. So yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. And there's the muscle milk. And up here we have some Orgain protein. And there's the Quest chips. Always a good deal. Um, there's bars. Premier protein. But I don't really like them, but I thought I'd show them anyway. Because you do. And there's Steve, my Peter likes these Fit Crunch Bars by Robert Irvine. And here we have Built Bars. Yes, there is a mixed box of Built Bars at Sam's Club. Here's some more of the um, clear protein. And here's PB Fit. You can get like, you can get protein in your Zero Gatorade. Yeah, if that's how you want to get your protein in. Here's greens and beets. I didn't even know they had these, the Power Beats and stuff. They are really expensive. I mean, they are crazy expensive. And the almond section. You know, nuts get a bad rap. But, you know, if you just have a small amount and throw them into things, you absolutely can get it, get through it. But I love the almonds and nuts and, and cashews and walnuts that they have here. Really good prices, and you get a crap ton of nuts. Can't beat it, in my opinion. But I know it's hard to measure things and not go back. Hey, I hear you. Trust me, I do. And more nuts. They had these are all the mixed nuts. Those were the individual. These are all mixed like cocktail nuts you would put on a charcuterie. You can put all those on a charcuterie board. Look at the fresh flowers. That's something new. I didn't realize I had that. And the spice section. Yeah, it's kind of wiped out a little bit, but look what I found. <gasps> ah, an urban legend. This, the, you know what, my cart. I have a problem with spices and extracts and stuff, but yep, there they are. They have their cinnamon toast crush. They didn't have the other one, the, the um, Twix. They had cinnamon crunch and the Kinders. Kinders is a really good nice spice too. And you can get them at Walmart as well. So don't feel like, cause Sam's and Walmart are owned by the same people. Didn't know if you knew that. That's Cholula is new. Well, new for me. And then they have the regular ones, the regular members mark samples. All right, let's show a little haul. I didn't get everything I showed you. I was just trying to show you different things that they carry. And like I said, you decide whether you want to spend the points on them or not, and or the calories. It's up to you. I'm just showing you the selection of things that well, sometimes we gravitate towards. So I will show you the things that I purchased. Now, it was a very, and I'm saying small haul because when I go to Sam's, BJ's, Costco, I usually spend $300, 350 This was under 200 so actually it's a pretty good, pretty light haul, but they had some fun things that I haven't seen before and I will definitely show you. The light Tongles, Thomas's English muffins. I did show you these on the video. You get a two pack. They're 100 calories. They are two points. And here are some of the nutritional information if you need to look at that. Four grams of protein. You're starting off with four grams of protein. You add some egg. You're up there, my friend. You're up there. I showed you these too because I love pop chips. I have chips. I don't have them every day, but I have them several days a week. And I love the pop chips. It's new packaging. It's kind of, almost looks Halloweenish, but it's not. These are three points a bag. Love, love, love these. Who says you can't have chips on WW or a weight loss journey or healthy lifestyle? You can. You just have to get the ones that are better options. And I will definitely, the calories are 100 calories. And there is the nutritional information. 
anybody's interested in that. I don't think there's any protein. One gram of protein. Hey, that's not bad. I wasn't looking for protein, so I think that's a win. Avocado cups. I like to get fresh avocado, but sometimes you can't find them or sometimes they're just too soft. So having these, this is just perfectly ripe avocado cups, lightly seasoned with lime, sea salt, and black pepper, which is what I would put in avocado anyway. So these are two points. They are 90 calories for one mini cup and one gram of protein. There you go. There's carbs in this. Five grams of carbs. Not too bad. Great on the bagel. See, you add that bagel protein with this protein you've got, you're already up in your protein. Now these Steve asked for, but they're always a good option for anybody. The dark chocolate, peanut butter dark chocolate protein chewy bars from Nature Valley. You get 30 bars. They are six points each, 190 calories, 10 grams of protein, 15 carbs. So there you go. Steve likes to have these at his office, so I grab those. He's not too fussy. I give him some built bars and I give him these and it kind of helps him out. I was out of salad. Masculine greens. It's a melee of baby lettuces. I don't normally get the organic, but that's all they had. They were pretty sad in the lettuce department, I will say. I think they were starting to restock. I normally don't buy organic. I'm, to be honest, just too cheap. I'm, it's, there's nothing, I don't look for things organic, but this is all they had, so I had to get it. Because, you know, I worry about friends in here. <sighs> that's what I worry about. Okay. I love these. I love these little mini bell peppers. They're zero points. They are, do they give the, do they give any nutritional information? Huh. That's what everybody here to have nutritional information. No, they're peppers. I mean, they're not gonna kill anybody. But I love to chop these up, put them in stir fries, have them with a little laughing cow cheese. They're so good. I love them. I saw them like, oh, I haven't had them for a while, so I was super excited to get those. And when I go to Sam's, I always get the Members Mark Non-Fat Greek Yogurt. Now, you know I'm all about my Faye, but eating those protein bowls, I'm going through a hell of a lot of Faye. And it's $6 for like not even, what, half of this? Yeah, this was, I think, for something. So, you know what? Mixing it with protein powder, you're not going to know the difference. But I thought, it's just, and I, I actually do really like the Members Mark brand, so I, I've gotten it many times. So that was definitely a good purchase. And for the boys, because they asked for this, this is the Terrifico Tamale Company White Cheese Dip. This is four points for two tablespoons. But you can have one tablespoon for one point if you want to put it on like some nachos. I don't think that's terrible. And it is 80 calories for two tablespoons. So half of that would be 40 calories. So I don't think that's a bad option. Sometimes we can, we can eat their food. We just have to weigh and measure it out. Just don't free pour. And I've been looking for my light string cheese. Yep, this is the Member's Mark 36-count 36, 36 string cheese. 50% less fat and 25% fewer calories. Two points a stick. You know I'm all about, I used to be one point back in the old program, but it's two points. And it is at 50 calories, six grams of protein in this little sucker, and one gram of carb. So... I think string cheese is a great option. And I brought string cheese back in my life because at first I was like, when that went up, I'm like, yeah, no, I changed my mind. And I love getting these to snack on. Two points for a turkey stick. One stick is 70 calories. And there is six, no, eight grams of protein. Is that six? <laughs> I think it's, it's six grams of protein. Six grams of protein, but you pair this with your cheese stick. What a great snack. Four points. Yes, it's four points for both, but you know what? We have weeklies, and this is a nice filling snack. I mean, fruit's great and all, but it's not going to fill you, and there's no protein in fruit. But yeah, I like the turkey sticks. The boys love them, so these will go. Like, nobody's business in my house. This was a new find. I always get the veggie sticks, the veggie straws, but look what they have now. Veggie puffs and sour cream and onion, white cheddar, and barbecue. I was super excited for this. Why? Because they're two points a bag. <gasps> I know. It's the little things that make me happy and fun things to eat at lunch or eat as a snack. They are 70 calories, one gram of protein. 
eight grams of carbs. So it's actually not a really bad snack. Keep these on hand. Great to have with a wrap or something. Or like I said, just a mid-morning, mid-afternoon snack. You want something crunchy? That'll do you. And people have been hauling these and I've been trying to find and I have not been able to. Turkey's been scarce, but Sam's had it. The oven roasted turkey breast all natural, 98% fat free. This was a little bit pricey. This was $16. And how big is it? A little over three and a half pounds. I'm going to see how long this lasts us versus buying a frozen turkey breast and making it myself because that was that turkey breast was like 10 bucks and it was four and a half pounds but they're counting the bone in that weight so this is just all meat so i'm going to see i'm going to and also our amish market sells fresh turkey breasts i'm going to see what their price per pound is and see what the best deal is because having this around is great to just slice down have it for lunches throw it in salads have it as a snack no. And this was a new find. Hold on to your hats, people. I've talked about this. Snickers Seasoning Blend. Great for ice cream, cookies, milkshakes, and more. I know. I'm obsessed with the Twix dust. Yes, this, you know how to get the Snickers dust. You just know how to do it. What's fun about this is you could have up to three quarters of a teaspoon for zero. The other one, the Twix, you only get a quarter teaspoon for zero. Not sure why that is, but yep. And honestly, three quarters is a lot. You don't need it. A quarter is enough to put sprinkle on oatmeal, you know, sprinkle on top of little fun muffins. But yeah, I am so, when I saw this, I'm like, what? In fact, I don't know if you noticed in the video, you've probably already seen it. So I'm like saying something like, maybe I should have to haul first. <laughs> but I'm like, what? So that, oh wait, one more thing. I got an early Christmas gift for Steve to give to me. Cause it's funny, I said, do you wanna buy me something for Christmas? He goes, what? I said, a shacket. He goes, put it on, since he paid anyway. <laughs> so I got the ever famous fall staple, the shacket. It is a shirt, it is a jacket, it is a shacket. I did get a large, so I wanted it to be a little bit big. They had a couple different patterns. They had, ones, they had one that had, um, was brown, I thought that was nice, but I thought this one is more me, so I think I better stick with something that I know I'm gonna wear. And they had one that had red in it. I always think of red as more Christmassy kind of thing. It wasn't Christmas looking, but that's how I would. I don't, did I show the shackets in the video? I might've shown the shackets. I think I did, but you'll see the other ones. This is the one that I got. I thought this was adorable. I think it was like, <laughs> M M M MF, um, the, the retail price is $119. It is Steve Madden, I will say. I paid, I think, $23. But I wouldn't have paid. Even that, I was like, $23 for a shacket? But it is, it's it's really cute. And I thought, I'm always cold. This would be cute over a tank, over a turtleneck. Just wearing over, just, I had it on this. It was just, it was just nice. So I was excited to find this shacket. It is a shirt. It is a jacket. It is a shacket. So you got a shacket. So my Christmas gift. From Steve to me, and I know I'm gonna, he likes that because he does. If I pick out my stuff, I know I'm gonna like it. Good husband, there, ladies. You know, get your husband that listens to you and and takes those hints. Steve is good at taking hints when it comes to gifts. I just have to say, oh, that's really nice. But I have to watch what I say because if I don't like it and I say that's nice, he'll buy it. That's happened. So I now I watch what I say because I, if I don't really like it, I kind of keep my mouth shut because I know I might find it under the tree. He likes to buy things gifts he likes to give gifts at christmas i'm like we don't shouldn't have to buy gifts at christmas he likes to so that's what so that is my little and for me that is little sam's club haul so i hope you enjoyed this little food finds friday sam club's edition there were some things in there that aren't great you know like the chicken section I, you know there's there's chicken i'm not willing to pay those kind of points for that kind of chicken but you know it's all a personal decision if that's something you want to pay points for and calories then you do it don't go by what i buy buy what you want like you might you might say hey Dave, i'm not getting canned avocado i'm going to get me some fresh avocado like, that's totally your right so i better get in here before the wind blows me away thanks again for watching i hope you enjoy this food finds friday <clears throat> if you did give it a thumbs up and if you have it <coughs> excuse me hit that subscribe button join our community here on dish with d you never know what we're going to do we are a lifestyle channel we do weight loss healthy lifestyle support vlogs food finds 
lives. We go live here several nights a week. You want to be notified of that. There is a notification bell right next to that red subscribe button that you hit that it rings. It should send you a t notification unless you have notifications turned off, which I do. Sorry. Um, but if you are a person that wants to get notified because you forget, then definitely have the notifications turned on and you will get notified when I upload. So thanks for watching. And who knows where we'll be next Friday for Food Finds Friday. Just never know with me. So have a great day and we will dish another day. Goodbye, my love.